Well, there's a couple curious people out there that wanted to have a look at inside six feet and a better understanding of what the gameplay or the competition inside six feet it looks like on FSX 2020. I'm using the GC Quad. Um, the name of the game is exactly as the title says. Um, we've got to take three shots and get inside six feet. So I'll talk as I go through it. But uh, I'm not going to start on level one. As you can see, level one, two, three. Typically, these levels would be locked. Um, the locked levels, as you progress through the levels, the, they just keep opening and unlocking. And currently, I'm not sure where I'm at. So I'm on level 24. Um, 25, as you can see, 25 is locked. And uh, we're just going to progress from that point. So um, we'll play 24. Um, basically, there is three chipping locations. Uh, you choose the club of choice, whatever one you prefer, the course details and the uh, weather conditions down here listed on the bottom. Seven and a half stamp, that's all pre-filled, predetermined for you. The only thing you have to do is select your club. Um, I'm going to use a 58 degree wedge for all the shots actually. And I'm just going to use all three shots. So. Location 1 is going to this um, area, location 2 we're going to the far left of the green and location 3 over the bunker to the center of the green. Um, we want to try to get inside that blue circle which is inside 6 feet. If you get inside 6 feet you're going to move on to the next location. If you get them all within your allotted number of shots you will move on to the next level and the next level will unlock. So let's give it a shot. <coughs> Obviously, as the levels get unlocked, things just keep getting harder. The greens and the over the bunkers, sometimes there'll be some down slopes, so you gotta get a little spin and a little check on the ball. So there's a lot of different elements to it. Um, some of the levels, as you go, it'll be pouring rain. So that has some factors on the green and on the ball itself, but uh, this one looks pretty stock standard. You can um, put out the grid as well so you can see which direction the angulation is. This one's moving left to right, it's 14 yards. So not that difficult of a shot, I don't think. Maybe it is. <clears throat> so we carried that one way too far. Second shot's in and basically it's going to be adding up points, so you want the least amount of points. That one added up uh, a 1 and a 175, giving us 275 total score to move on to spot number 2. This one's 31 yards. I'm going to try the same kind of bump and run. Looks like the green's going left, left to right. And we didn't hit it. <laughs> I did it twice in a row. Third time's a charm, I guess. <clears throat> so the third location is 33 yards. Angulation just happens to be for all three locations going, it looks like, left to right. We gotta go over a bunker. Hopefully land it just short of the six, the blue circle inside six feet, and uh, roll it in. That'd be ideal. Oh, we landed it too short. A little too short. Three 
again to get it done. So the goal is to get it done on the first shot and keep your score as low as possible. Um, but we did make it through. You, for each location you get a maximum of 10 shots. If you don't get it uh, done in 10 shots, you got to start all over again and you keep on trucking. After every location gives you your ranking and your status, I'm 121st. Well, here's a good example. This is the next level, um, level 25. Obviously, you can tell it's raining, and we have 23 kilometer an hour headwind, 11 yards to the green, to the uh, pin, and you just keep going. And that's the idea of inside six feet, and uh, every level is a unique environment and a unique situation. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Just outside. <clears throat> Station number two. Looks like a 46 yard shot. Choosing my lob wedge. It's hard to tell from this far away looking at the grid on the green. Kind of looks like the undulation is going from right to left. It might be a little downhill. Hard to see from this distance. Oh, we threw that one way too far. Well, they're going to give that to us at 5.11, so there was with some downhill slope. We just, by accident, hit it a little short, caught that slope and rolled it in. This one's probably moving right to left, 46, same 46, different angle to the pin. That one I caught the ground a little bit chunky. So it's champing pretty quick, so we pretty much got to carry it right to the flag or change clubs, one or the other. Oh man. See that 23 kilometer an hour wind, it's just going to about our 7, 7 o'clock. That's causing us a bit of grief, but it is stopping the ball a bit in the air. Pushing it over to the right. I haven't hit a good shot though. Fat shots. We might be changing clubs here if we can't get this log wedge to land in. Alright, that wind is throwing it off to the left. Yeah, it's got some challenges to it. So you can see that one took me seven ugly shots to get there with a high score of 13.75. That's not where we want to be to get in a higher ranking. So that put us in 125th place on station 15, or sorry, station uh, 25. Twenty six is now open. We're ten minutes into the video. I'll give uh, a couple more, a couple more shots here. 
and we'll wrap it up. You can see the locations. Uh, one is cross into the center. Station two is just over the left edge of the bunker. Station three is going in over the entire bunker. So we'll be able to use our gap wedge for station one and two, and then probably our lob wedge for station three. Obviously the exercise to this inside six feet competition, wedge practice, chipping, pitching practice, and um, I think most of us out there could use that. I know I can use more and more practice every day with chips. Some days are ugly and some days look not so bad. 21 yards, 11 o'clock wind, sorry, uh, 11 kilometer an hour wind, going to about uh, 8 o'clock. Harder than that. Stop. Station two is 21 yards, green's going right to left, wind is almost blowing straight to the nine o'clock position, 11 kilometer an hour, just a bump and run, wind's really not doing much to us. Stop. So obviously one is the best score you can get. First attempt, giving you a score of one. That's where we would like to be. But we have to do that on all three um, stations in this level to rank in the higher end of the scoreboard. So we're at a 32 yards. Wind is gonna be a little bit of something here with this lob wedge. Just about checked before the circle. But we got it in, second shot. So we're up to level 27. As you can see, these are the blue bayous, so from what I've seen, um, most of these uh, comps that are on here are the courses that come free with FSX or your quad or your GC2 when you buy one, GC Hawk. Um, it looks like, yeah, all the courses on here are the first five free that come with your hardware when you purchase it. So we're going to play one last one. As you can see, level 28 is locked out because we are moving on to... 27 in our first location, just a little bump and run to the center of the green. Two, pretty much all of them. Now, number three will have to go in with a lob wedge, but uh, we'll get some bump and run with the first uh, two locations anyway. So every time you do have to pick your club, you can pick whatever club and hit whatever club you choose to. Uh, in this case, I've just been going with uh, the tag of wedge on the club just to go quick and keep it simple. Uh, what do we got? 13 yards, no wind, two foot downhill. Go in. Still got one to hit the flag. So if anything, that will make you a slightly better chipper in simulator golf. We got 23 yards, three feet downhill. Oh, stop. Put that one a little too hard. So be. Yeah. 
so that um, downhill elevation of two or two and a half feet, whatever it was, downhill, makes a big difference. We had to come up, land it quite a bit shorter and let it roll in. And Thankfully, the greens are almost as slow as you can set them at 7.5, so that makes things a little easier. This one's a 24-yard shot. It's all fairway in front of us, so probably land them a little closer with the lob wedge. What the heck a 24-yard shot is. Ooh. So we don't want to land short on this one because obviously there's a big downhill slope there. So we're going to have to go carry it at least to the green. Not a little left, but we got there. 